Okay, we're almost done with this place, and finally we're going to be fighting Tabitha. I wonder why didn't they didn't put Courtney here, because as I said, uh, she is the one magma admin we never see in Emerald. And yeah, you fight Courtney in Ruby in the magma hideout, so why don't you fight her in the magma hideout in Emerald, even if it's not the same place at all? So, Magma Admin Tabitha, who is still a guy, by the way, beginning with a level 26 Nummel. Are you kidding me? That shit's weaker than most of the Grunts Pokémon. Come on, give me something a little more consistent to munch on, okay? Mighty Anna. Well, that's definitely an improvement, but I've killed plenty of Mighty, Mighty Annas in in the high 20s with a single serve, so this one shouldn't be too much of a challenge. Come on, this is a boss fight, not a grunt fight! But, okay, next we got Zubat. Yeah, still got a Zubat at this point of the game. I'm a level 31 at that. What are you waiting for? Evolve it! And yeah, of course, Ice Beam is going to utterly destroy it. It's super effective, thank you very much. And a level up for the road. A big boost in defense, again, thanks to that nature. And yeah, a camera against uh, my lot. I'll let you imagine the outcome for yourself. I'm sure you won't mind if I shove 700 damage down your throat, huh? And with that, Tabitha is done. Again, seriously, this was a boss fight. And the levels were pathetic, just barely above what you'd expect from a grunt. <laughs> I didn't waste too much time with you, actually. I just completely annihilated you. And just... Oh, wow, a max revive before fighting Maxi. Well, that game's feeling awfully generous today. Anyway, I don't know if uh, you'll be able to comment on this video because I tried answering to other people's comments uh, earlier on today, and not by earlier on, I mean like 30 minutes ago, and it didn't work. So I can only imagine 24 saps trying to get the first comment and failing. I can't hear you over the sound of me being awesome! And we are here- No, we're not quite here! Groudon's on the freaking screen, and I'm busy duking it out with a wild rattler. Well, this is an anticlimactic buildup if I ever saw when I was all ready to fight uh, Maxi, but no, Mr. Graveler here has something to say about it. Okay, so now that we're done, can we fight Maxi, please? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now he's going to commit a critical mistake here. No, that's not it. Injecting it with HIV would have a more positive result. And here, that dumbass is going to spray Oda Kyogre straight in the guy's face. Epic music. Rawr! Kyogre! Where are you? I will kill you! And just like that, it's gone. It's gone, which makes absolutely no sense. And I'm going to come back to this in a bit on why it makes no sense. But first, Maxie's finally gonna notice me after all this time. And, uh, yeah. You must have pulled a cheap stunt? Hey, I'm not a magician! I can't control a freaking god! You tried playing god, but seriously, come on! Blue Orb! Red Pokémon, THINK ABOUT IT! And we got a slightly stronger Mightyena than the last time by 9 levels, I believe, in fact, so... It might actually survive a surf. Let's see if that is indeed the case. And... No! It doesn't! Man! Mighty Anna sucks. Crobat! See, Tabitha, that's what you should have done. Evolve your freaking Zubat. And it's level 38 even. Wing attack, well, of course, Crobat goes first because it's so fast. But an Ice Beam should still be able to kill it, probably. No! Ah, only one pixel of energy left and, well, a Super Potion, that's a waste because I can do much more damage with than that. Than that with the single Ice Beam, but Crobat is surprisingly bulky when you think about it. 
When you look at its stats, all you see is that speed and nothing else. But all its other stats, except maybe special attack to an extent, are also really good. So it doesn't have a really much of a weakness, which makes it a criminally underestimated Pokémon. And of course, well, Surf for Camerupt, that goes without saying, quadruple weakness. Thank you for playing, and I'll be seeing you next time in Moss Deep. So yeah, as I was about to say, Crobat, great Pokémon, criminally underestimated because it evolves from Zubat, which is, for all intents and purposes, a joke Pokémon. And now Maxi is really freaking furious. There's no longer any need for this blasted volcano, and we're gonna keep that sentence in mind. I'm going after Groudon? No, you aren't! Your next plan has nothing to do with Groudon. He, he just said he has no need for the volcano, so his next plan, and I'm gonna spoil it for you right there in case you haven't played Emerald, is going to be blowing the damn thing up to expand the land. Yeah, because erupting it didn't work, but making it explode, you are going to kill maybe 10 people! The, the population of um, the cities of uh, Lava Ridge and Fall Arbor, well, uh, I, I, I'm really being sarcastic here because, of course, uh, the populations of the cities and the games really don't doesn't have anything to do with the population we should expect from it. So for all intents and purposes, let's say Fall Arbor and Lava Ridge are populated in the tens of thousands, maybe, and leave it at that. So yeah, he's planning on destroying the volcano and wiping out tens of thousands of people and given Mount Chimney's location as I mentioned before it's not going to expand the landmass by one square centimeter just kill loads of innocent people congratulations so as I was saying Groudon fleeing makes absolutely no sense because in Ruby Maxi tries the same thing, but Groudon goes absolutely apeshit, and there are massive droughts that start all over Hoenn, but here Groudon just sort of goes away, mysteriously, no one knows where, and it only pops up again when Archie awakens Kyogre. So, in the meantime, why aren't there any droughts? Groudon is awake. Just like it was, it was in Ruby. The situation here, in theory, should be the exact same as in Ruby after Maxi awakens Groudon. But it's not. There are no droughts anywhere. The crazy weather only starts when Archie awakens Kyogre and it meets Groudon. Not before. So that's my the bone I have to pick with this whole story sequence. Anyway, now I'm going back to Lily Cove because, uh, well, of course, my my Lotic needs healing because it escaped <laughs> the magma hideout with exactly the the PP that it needed to get out of there. So it has absolutely none right now. Well, not anymore because it's been healed. No, I don't want to talk to you again. Sorry, my finger slipped or something. Anyway, our next destination is going to be the Aqua Hideout, which is why I went to Lily Cove. And uh, now, as when it comes to the Aqua Hideout, it's very different from, okay, this guy here, there, Whalmer, leap out of the water now. Wow, you're going to be utterly owned by the splash it makes if it leaps out of the water. I don't really recommend that, unless you want to get a Darwin Award or something. And, oh yeah, those two goons here are still blocking the way he's gone to Jack a Submarine. Where did he go? <laughs> of course, he's not going to tell me that. And this guy says the same thing. He's on his way to Slateport City, which was the other the, the thing the other guy didn't want me to know. But he tells me that, and he doesn't want me to know what the other guy did. So if you see what I did there, I just got from them crucial information. He's off to Slateport to Jack a submarine. Archie, that is. So, well, we're gonna go to Slateport, and of course, we're not gonna make it in time, else there would be no need to go to the hideout. Oh, and there's 
quite the crowd around Captain Stern. I, I guess Archie stole his uh, submarine, so now he's like, Oh my god, help me! My submarine is gone! And the media, like Piranha, are like, Please, tell us more about it! Please, please! Well, you're gonna see more of it, but next time.